Okay, that's weird. I think someone might be following me. Why? What's going on? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I know what happened. Hey guys, welcome to Crawl Unchained. Today's video is all about going back to the PvP zone to find some Exorium so I can purchase the latest version of my ship, the one that we are currently looking at right now. Now you guys already know this from the thumbnail, I end up losing my first ship and I did it in the most embarrassing way imaginable. <laughs> I won't spoil it any more than I already have however, if you guys can't tell what happened from the short preview, I'll let you guys discover it by watching the video. So anyways, after losing the ship, I went back to the station and purchased another one, then I went back to the PvP zone and found Exorium. The whole thing from start to finish took me 2 hours and 43 minutes, which I have obviously cut down for the video. Now after coming back, I decided not to spawn my ship right away. I wanted to make a few modifications to it, and while recording myself doing those modifications, Windows popped an error message which ended up causing my recording to bug and corrupt the file. Sadly, this means you won't see me spawn my ship, but you'll see me using it in future videos for sure. That being said, let's get started. So we're about to hop on to the older version of this one. The Pilgrim SS starter ship. I can't tell what he's looking at. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna spawn the SS Pilgrim. Oh, and look, I went mining yesterday. I sold everything I mined, and now I'm at 434,000. So I have enough to spawn my ship. As soon as I get the Exorium, I'm good to go. Someone commented on my last video the one, the, the last video where I went inside the PvP zone, they commented that I should fly under the cloud or over the cloud until I reach the distance that I'm looking for and then just go up into the cloud once I reach that distance. So that's what I'm going to try to do today, you know gotta switch things up anyways I should probably carry one of these and one of these in case I need to refuel but I probably won't hmm I'm starting to think this is not gonna work I need to go 50 kilometers away from origin stations but right now like I'm staying on the same side of the ring. I'm getting further from mine, but I, ca I can't even see mine anymore. So yeah, even if I get, if, even if I go like 50 kilometers that way, I'm not gonna be 50 kilometers from all, all the different stations. So I kind of have to go through the cloud. It's the only way. I need to go up that way. This way, I'm, I'm moving further from the origin station's ring. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna fly all the way back to my station. I'm just gonna go up and that's it. Okay, I'm inside the PvP zone now. I need to slow down a bit here. I can't see shit. So if I remember correctly, from the last time I was here, Exorium grows in Agitite. I don't think I've seen Exorium grow in, or not grow, but like, I can find Exorium in an Agitite asteroid. Before I do anything else, I'm going to stop here, I 
think that might be my prize right there. Make sure I'm not being followed. I don't think I'm being followed. So I think that's Agents. I'm not sure. I can't see really well, but I thought I saw like a glint of pink. And there's no such thing as Corodium inside the PvP zone. At least I haven't seen any. I know that's uh, Volcarium. But I was right though, it's an Agentite asteroid. I'm just gonna fly towards the sun and then I'll turn around. I'll see the color of every asteroid. By doing this, I can still use the same method that I showed in, uh, that was Quick Tip 7, I think, where you fly towards the sun and then you turn around so everything lights up. You can see the color of every asteroid. So there's a, an Agitite asteroid in front of me right there. Let's turn on turtle mode. So this could be Volcarium or Exorium in there or Nergite which I think it is right now I think that's Nergite that's really white yeah let's just inside my ship for now just in case this thing is getting closer anyway I know this is an air guide this is not what I'm after let's start moving towards it but really slow I really can't tell what this is it looks white really really white and I am curious, and I know you guys are too. I know you guys are going to be mad at me if I don't go look at it. But I thought it might have been a ship. Like, I'd be surprised if that was an asteroid. Oh, I, for I forgot. I, <laughs> I wanted to get the long rifle so I could zoom. Like that. But really zoom. It probably is a ship, to be honest. But it looks like it's not moving. Yeah, that's that's for sure it's a ship. A destroyed one. I'm going to assume... Yeah, it's not in good shape. Yeah, I don't know if there's a player on board that ship, and if there is, he's probably not going to be happy to see me. Might choose to shoot me, even if it's, even if it's just out of being scared, so... I'm not rich enough to start taking chances with my ships. Volcarium, almost certain this is Volcarium. Yeah. I'm 
their guide again. Volcarium. Probably their guide. Yeah. Volcarium. If I can't find any in this area, I'm just gonna go further. That's weird. I think someone might be following me. It says my ship is out of propellant. It can't be out of propellant. So someone would have dis disconnected my propellant. going on this is impossible my my ship is full of propellant Max value? That's why it looked like it wasn't going down. It's because the panel max value was set to 100. Same thing here. I need to set that to 400k max value. should have filled it up. Holy shit, I should have filled it up. <laughs> no. I can't find any ice. I'm stuck here. There's nothing I can do. I lost my ship. I'm never going to be able to find it again because it doesn't have a transponder either. So, oh well, I guess you, you learn from your mistakes, right? So... <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy it again. There's no way for me to be able to save this ship. So this ship is officially a derelict now. Well, let's see how resistant the ship is. I have certainly learned from my mistakes. Yeah, I can't can't tow it. Okay. Instead of respawning the SS Pilgrim, I could spawn this one, which I think has, I mean it would cost me a little bit more, but not much. It's even got the decals and everything, 
This one's gonna cost me a GZM, but not that much. Doesn't have the gun, doesn't have like most of the things, but it has the transponder. The inside is finished, which is something that bugged me a little bit. To be honest, I could just... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna fix the propellant issue though. Panel max value needs to be way higher than this. Ugh, that's such a silly mistake. Uh, this is just still just going to be a starter ship. I want to just keep it as a starter ship. So I think I'm just going to remove the glass again. I'm going to delete this glass. All right. This is going to take the place of SS. Okay, you. SSC, just just so it's not so it's gonna be starter ship class. Build room. So I can delete this one here because this one is a better version than this one, so I can actually delete this. I just need to spawn it now. Wow, even at snail speed, I feel like I'm going fast in here. <laughs> Something I might want to do is just bring a stack of ice. Why, why did it... I thought it was gonna... Okay, I guess because I fixed the ceiling on this one, it's not popping me up the top there, which I would have preferred, to be perfectly honest. That's why I removed the glass from it. <laughs> so I didn't have to go through the door. I can easily find Nurguide in the PvP zone, I just, I can't find ice. All right. Okay. We're in the PvP zone now. Yeah, now the uh, the fuel consumption makes a lot more sense. Okay, um, I think we can start slowing down and start looking for... That's Nergite, Bulgarium. Oh, that might be it. can't tell. No. This is the longest, biggest cloud I've ever been through. There's no asteroids in it. Those are two big fat ones. Come on. Yeah, I can't tell. Yes, that's my prize. Nice. Phew. Oh, why did you not swing? Yeah, that's the cap I wanted to get off. Nice. I feel like sometimes when I strike at it while moving, like this, I can get bigger chunks off of it. But it doesn't always work, so that's why I never turned this into a quick tip, is because it's not consistent, so 
but I'm I'm going to keep doing it because it does seem to work sometimes. But I can't tell if I actually uh, take out as big a chunk like without actually moving. Yeah, okay, so I guess it works. Oh well. See the sun. All the uh, all the asteroids are dark. Where the hell is that sun? The sun is gone. All right, let's go through that cloud about the other side and hope that the sun is there <laughs> oh, that's the darkest I've ever seen now that's dark still can't figure out where the sun is oh it's probably behind me because everything's just lighting up right now all right, let's just go towards the white stuff. We'll carry him. Finally, it's about time. Can't tell what it is. just head back home I hope we don't crash so I'm gonna head towards origin 3 origin 6 is gonna be like somewhere over there I think I'm very close to halfway empty in propellant approaching save zone border and I'm back in Okay, good. Alright, let's transfer this stuff. Transfer all ore to station storage. 8 Exorium ore. Why 8? I have 10. Look at my fuel. <laughs> my propellant was down to like three bars. My fuel is still up. Oh, 
All right, guys, I'm going to have to end this video here because, as mentioned in the intro, the next part got corrupted by a Windows error that happened while I was recording it. So the part that is missing was me adding two more propellant tanks to the ship, then selling some ores because having to buy the ship a second time had brought me back down to less than what is needed to buy the latest one. And then I finally purchased the ship. It's not much, but it still would have been nice to be able to buy it at the end of this video. Oh well, no point looking back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts in the comments and I will see you all soon. Bye bye.